Hello and welcome. I'm Otis Landerholm. I'm the founding attorney here at Landerholm Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. And today we got some breaking news. All right, we got some breaking news regarding DACA. Specifically, there have been in the headlines here on CBS, you see that the Biden administration moves to formalize DACA and shield it from legal challenges. That's their headline. There's lots of different headlines about it. If we, if we get past the news and get into what has really happened, on USCIS.gov, they put an alert here. And what they've said is that the Department of Homeland Security today announced that the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals final rule, which has been posted for public inspection on the Federal Register's website, the final rule generally codifies existing policies with limited amendments to preserve and fortify DACA. The final rule is effective October 31st, 2022. And the other kind of issue is that in the Southern District of Texas, there is a current injunction that has happened against the implementation of DACA for first time applicants. If you're renewing your DACA, you're allowed to do that, all right? So there's this tension between these new proposals and the order from the judge, all right? Hopefully, these new order, these new regulations satisfy the judge in the Southern District of Texas that's going to be deciding whether or not to lift that injunction against uh, accepting initial DACA requests. And so we've got we've got tension and we're going to see what happens regarding DACA in between now and October 31st of 2022, all right? If you want to see the actual full document, it is a 453-page set of regulations, and basically what it's doing is it is codifying, it's writing down and putting it into the Federal Register the same basic criteria that was implemented at the time of DACA's original passing back in 2012 under the Obama era, okay? And so that's, this is the full document. You could see it, you can have, there's a link to it. Um, the final rule is right here. That's what cr goes to this link. Check it out, look through it. You can see the guidelines themselves and you can see the summary um, at the beginning of what the regulations are saying. I'm not gonna go through it all right now. It's a lengthy document. It's worth looking at if you're interested. The, the shortcut version of it is what are those basic guidelines, all right? Remember, what is DACA? It's basically deferred action. It's not a green card. It's not a permanent benefit. It is a temporary two years at a time work permit for people who entered the U.S. as children, right? DACA stands for Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, all right? So we're talking for young people. You have to be under the age of 31 as of June 15th, 2012, came to the U.S. before reaching your 16th birthday. So you came as a minor under the age of 16, okay? Um, you've continuously resided in the U.S. since June 15th, 2007 up to the present. All right, you were physically present in the U.S. on June 15, 2012, when DACA was announced. You did not have lawful status on that date, no lawful immigration status, or that any lawful immigration status that you did have had expired by then. And you have to have been in school, have graduated, completed high school, have obtained a GED, or have uh, been honorably discharged from the Coast Guard or, for the, or from the Armed Forces, and you cannot have a felony, a significant misdemeanor, three or more misdemeanors, or anything that would cause you to be a threat to national security or public safety, okay? These are the DACA guidelines, the DACA criteria. And it's important to know that and like what we're talking about as we see the news and things like that. Um, so hopefully for the uh, for the DACA eligible community, hopefully we can get these regulations implemented and hopefully we can lift the injunction that is currently in place in the Southern District of Texas and hopefully we'll be able to use these guidelines to apply for a work permit, right? At least have a way to come out of the shadows for these kids that entered the U.S. as children. 
okay? So that's what is going on. I'm recording this. It's the 26th of August, 2022. I hope this video was helpful. If it was helpful, hey, please give me a thumbs up on the video or give me some kind of a comment. And uh, if you have an immigration case, hey, we'd love to help you. Feel free to give us a call. Best of luck with your case. My name is Otis Landerholm, Landerholm Immigration, APC, where we fight for your American dream. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.